Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity has expelled at least 12 of its members at Salisbury University, all of whom are charged in an alleged hate crime. WJZ was first to bring you this story. Most of the defendants are from the Baltimore area. Tonight, investigator Mike Helgren has video of the attack. A warning, some of what you're about to hear is disturbing. Video of the October 15th attack WJZ viewed shows the victim being hit with a cookie sheet. We blurred the images of the violence and are not identifying that victim who repeatedly tries to flee. No, 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 no. Why are you getting up? Why are you getting up? Make one move. I swear I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to punch the at you, bro. Get back down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Please. Punch you. Just leave. Please. I won't do it again. I swear. According to charging documents WJZ obtained, one of the students created a fake profile on Grindr, a dating app used primarily by gay and bisexual men, posing as a 16-year-old. Then, 15 people ambushed the victim when he got to the apartment just off the Salisbury University campus. The students called the victim anti-gay slurs, and police have charged them with felony assault and hate crimes. The age of consent in Maryland is 16. Salisbury University has condemned any acts of hate and suspended the students and the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity. But what does that mean? So they can't access campus at this point? That's correct. They aren't allowed on campus property. They also can't take classes at SU, either online or virtually, and they can't attend SU-sponsored events. The fraternity confirmed to WJZ it's expelled the students involved and wrote in a statement, Sigma Alpha Epsilon condemns hate and violence in any form, and we are disappointed that members of our chapter were involved in such an act. These allegations are very shocking and disturbing. We've opened up counseling for students who may need support at this time. I was shocked. Eastern Shore CBS station WBOC spoke to a student who is an acquaintance of one of those charged. He seemed like a good student. We would study together. Um, he was always asking me questions about what was going on in class. It was never anything that would lead me to believe that he could be capable of something like this. A lawyer for one of the students told WJZ his client is not guilty. Another lawyer told our news partner, the Baltimore Banner, this case will be shown to be an ill-advised attempt to expose someone willing to travel to have sexual relations with a 16-year-old child. The school is now forming a task force on LGBTQ inclusiveness. Hate has no place at Salisbury University. Four of the students charged are from Anne Arundel County. Others are from Timonium, Elkton, Elkridge, and Mount Airy. The school is holding a unity event on campus Monday afternoon. In your corner downtown, Mike Helgren, WJZ.